This playthrough is rated E10+. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volomar back here with another episode of Shining Force, the legacy of great intention. In the last episode, we started Chapter 7 as we entered the Town of Prompt. We, first, we thought it was full, uh, full of just a bunch of idiots, but we found out after talking to the king that they were, uh, they were, um, um, Related to the ancients and only kept their uh, kept their guys because they weren't able to trust us. But after throwing us into the dungeon for like five seconds, being released from a minor NPC that we'd read throughout the game who decided to just go back to this random town because reasons, let us out. And then they're like, "Yeah, fine, you'll you can you can help us. Sure, it'll be fine." And uh, they trust us now. Yeah, that wasn't very dramatic, and it, I guess it wasn't supposed to be. It was like solved in like five seconds. So, oh well. Uh, but anyway, we've got to go to the Tower of Ancients now and uh, help out our uh, help out the king there and, and help his uh, own soldiers. And uh, he'll help us. I guess if we do that, he'll help us with the Shining Path and fixing it so we can chase after Dark Soul to get back the manual and other such things. So, yeah, this fight's going to be a bit difficult because it's the typical... You can only move, like, a couple of paces because of the uh, um, terrain. Like, the few people who can move perfectly are, like, Xylo... I guess Guns has maybe because of the maybe because of his outfit or something like that, which or his uh, uh and like the flyers. Yeah, Lyle can't unfortunately, despite him being a ranged dude, can't fl uh, can't uh, uh can't really get over it. Yeah, so this fight's good for like if you have like Xylo or all your flyers or something like that, but. Uh, I mean, it's probably a good idea to swap out characters if you want to, like, try to change it up a bit, but uh, I'm at this point, I don't want to keep leveling up every single character. I'm just going to choose the characters I think are kind of cool, and then kind of go from there. So, let's see, Blyles, you can cast lightning, can't you? So, wait, how much? Yeah, you can cast bolt. Lightning bolt! Could try to... Oh, yeah, he has boost now, that's right. Or I could just see it. Well... I'd rather just lightning him. I thought about casting D Dissol on him to see what happens, but uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't want to waste all my good magic yet. It's a good, decent amount of experience. So. You know, the only problem with having this this being this fire up on the screen for combat is that all the land effect and uh, and like you know name and, and the stats kind of block some of the stuff if you're tr having trouble seeing or whatever, but. Yeah, Misashi, probably not the best fight to start you off in because you can you can't move very far. Alright, you go attack him? Okay, good. I mean he can basically he can suffer the sing, slings and arrows of defeat. The bolt spell would actually do a decent amount of damage to him, so let's uh since you can move perfectly, let's get you in there and take him out. Throw your wolf screams at the enemy. Woo! That's just weird. They just he doesn't even claw them anymore. He just sends like Xylo spirits or something like that. Anyway, one attack, two defense. Sp high speed, yeah. His agility starts skyrocketing after a point, so. Alright, yeah, just keep going. Now that everyone's promoted, I don't have to worry too much about, about people getting taken out pretty easily, so. Now that we have a decent amount of uh, flyers. Alright, guns. Oh, yeah, your weapon is now. Uh, let's see, what's your attack again? You could probably. I remember your attack's pretty good, but your defense isn't great, so you could take a, quite a bit of damage fighting him, but you would do a bit of damage to him as well. Probably should maybe attack the, the jet or something like that, so... Shouldn't go too far, because I might end up killing guns. Oh yeah, I can finally show you him attacking. Yeah, he just charged into him like a, a freaking tank! Isn't that not awesome? Why wouldn't you want him on your team, you know what I mean? But anyway, let's uh... Keep moving everyone forward. Oh boy, maybe I've killed guns. <laughs> you know, I probably should have kept him back now that I think about it. Well then. Well, I never said I was a, I was a good strategist, did I? Well, bye guns. <laughs> God. Oh, yeah, that was dumb of me. I shouldn't have done that. I looked at his defense too, and I knew he took a lot of damage, but I decided, you know, it's like, hey, let's go ahead and do it anyway. Even though that's not a good idea. All right. Oh, uh, boy. Well, let's, uh, we can use dull hands here so, uh, Arthur and them can get some hits on. I guess I'll let Xylo finish off that Belial or something like that. Yeah, I shouldn't have let, uh, shouldn't let Guns die. You know, I'm, I'm usually slightly better at, 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 uh, strategy games, but, uh, the, uh, like the last couple ones I've been playing haven't 
I guess they are kind of. Well, they're look. They look like the jets look like Domingo, but with engines on them, and they're charging them. So I guess they are kind of jets. I guess jets. Ah. Or was it? Uh, what's that song? Yeah. Yeah, something jets. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm not very good with the uh, melody, but you know, jets from jets. Ah. Jets! Da 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 Silent Major. Yeah, you can tell how often I've listened to that soundtrack if I'm not if I'm not remembering it. I think I cast bolt on him, huh? Alright, you win this round. Yeah, not close enough. Okay, so now we can get you in. What's your what's your attack? You probably wanna just Your attack's decent. 43, which means you'd still do like 11 damage to him. Is that? Gonna, no, that's not going to kill him, though. But your sp your magics aren't going to do that either, though. Yeah, we'll just get a good blaze on you. Dude, blazed up, man. Yeah, he just kind of pokes out his his uh, his uh, lance and then uh, and then casts a spell. So, all right, we're gonna have to help out these guys by taking out the uh, dual hands since they do a ton of damage. Kokiji's probably going to have to fight this guy because of the... Alright, you ready to spin to win? Go! Woo! This is fat old man riding a, like a weird you know, steam-like helicopter. There's just something uh, magical about that, you know? Yeah, usually dull. Uh, usually guns is a lot better than, than that. Surviving a bit longer. I was just, I don't know. I was just playing him very poorly. I don't know why. He's still level. I mean, I just promoted them. They're still level one. I mean, they need to. They need to gain a few levels to like kind of boost up their stats a bit. Ooh, level three. Nice defense plus five. Ooh, speed two, HP. That's right, you're my boy. Ah, oh, come on, man. Oh, boy, Kokichi's not gonna like this. He's gonna be hurting in the morning. Ow. Yeah, even with our promotion, they can still hurt us if we're if we're not smart about it. So, all right, so. that should kill him. I don't think it should anyway, because I don't want Domingo's already on and I have level. I'm not gonna try to. I don't want to try to have him kill, get all the experience for it. I just want to have him. Oh well, okay. Well, just do that, I guess. Ooh, we get a Doom Blade. Huh, that's a rare drop, and we gain level 21. Yeah. At this point, Domingo's gonna start getting dead levels at this point because he's basically hit. He's hit kind of his max. Uh, well, I, don't know, I wouldn't say max, but he's not gonna get as much of a of a of an attack and bump after this point. I think I'm trying to remember if the Doom Blade is uh, is cursed or not. I'll take a look at it. Let's see, a Doom Blade. I think it is, but well, we'll find out. But I think, uh, I think, interesting enough, I think Musashi can actually equip it. Uh, actually, I think any sword user that can equip it, but I think Musashi has his like own set of blades that's kind of like uh, unique to him. Um, well, someone's gonna get turned to and attack the Belial anyway, so I could probably move on ahead and kind of work on these guys. This might be the good fight for Zylo to get some. Uh, uh oh. What was there? Oh yeah, I forgot Zylo hasn't gained enough levels to get his attack up quite enough yet. Let's see. Let me look at that. Thirty-five. Oh yeah, their defense is pretty high. Okay. Let's see. I probably won't kill him, but they'll at least uh, give him a bit of experience for doing damage now. Huh, they must be weak against or strong against fire or something like that. All right, let's uh, finally get the. Oh, we could. Well, is anyone else gonna be able to get to him other than a flyer? Probably not. Probably should. Have. Probably should go ahead and take out the Belial. Can I actually attack him with that? No, I can't. Uh, I forgot range can't attack like right there. So let's finish him off. Get the experience for it. Take out your sniper cannon. Boom. Boom! An explosion. Nice. All right. One at a time. All right, you need to get healed. I wonder if I should move you. Oh, that might be fine. 
Oh, I'll need to get a healing on you. Whee! Kill. Yes, nice. Defense four. Ooh, nice. I need the defense. And a nice HP boost. Excellent. All right. You know, I didn't think he was actually going to go... Uh, uh, Low was going to go next, but... Actually, maybe I should have cast a higher level heal. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just, uh... Let's keep Kikichi. I mean, it's not like we're on a time limit or anything like that. So I get to stay him there and heal him next turn. Uh, what's your defense? Your defense is pretty good, Blue, isn't it? No, 32, still. Uh, no. Well, probably shouldn't be running ahead. Not really, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I'm a moron. I'm too impatient, man. Whee! Nice damage there. Alright, keep going. Oh yeah, you can't. Uh, Dull hands don't have crazy good movement here. They're just walking pieces of armor anyway. Ooh, hey! The whole idea of the flyers getting crazy amounts of evade are working in my favor. Who knew? Right, let's do another freeze too, to weaken them out a bit. Usually I use Domingo at this point because of his high level and everything. I kind of use him to, like, basically just knock down people's HP a bit and let other classes get the uh, get the kills. Hey, man. Leave Domingo alone. He's just a flying jellyfish like you. Look, you guys can be friends. And apparently, they're, despite his high de defense, would hardly take any damage anyway. He's just getting a whole bunch of extra getting good opportunities just to, uh, or he's dodging a lot of his attacks, so. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, no, he, never mind. I was thinking, I was, like, for a second, I thought Arthur got hit as well. I was like, no, yeah, what, what am I thinking? All right, so, get some damage on you. Arthur should be getting a little here pretty soon. Huh. Although he's not getting big chunks of, uh, yeah, it looks like all the enemies are moving at this point. So I'm not sure. I don't know, you haven't really gotten a... Despite our promotion, we still need a... It still would be a good idea to, like, try to get some, uh... Um, you know, levels for our groups so they can get even better stats. Yeah, it's not gonna do a lot. No well. Yeah, at least we're getting, uh... Oh, yeah, did I say I was gonna... Probably better to you know, let him get the experience for that. Yeah, the problem with these fights is usually your flyers or the people who can move the farthest will usually get a lot of the kills because, you know, they can get there faster. And I'll let, uh, I'll let Chris do some healing, get some experience in there. I might have a low cast, like, quick on someone just to get, try to get their turns faster. Yeah, always a good idea to have multiple healers if you can. I mean, I guess technically I could swap out Gong for another character if I wanted to, but I, like I said, I like having multiple healers back to back. So, um, yeah, we got plenty of MP. Let's uh, let's get like someone like Lyle to get get this turn faster. Rank up. I mean, boost up. Hey, if you all want to attack the character in my group with the highest defense modifier. Hey, go ahead. I mean, I am purposely putting him out there on the front to uh, try and take the hit, so. Uh, let's see. Actually, his, let's see, what's his defense? 48. Uh, yes. Well, the Minotaur can almost do damage, so. Or, I mean, more than one. Yeah, let's have him go in and get a, a good old uh, ice three on the on them. So that shouldn't kill him. Oh, I can just do. I forgot. I, I forgot. Freeze three has an extra has an extra range modifier to it. So we'll do that for. Yeah, I think I'm gonna mainly use him for like twiddling down damage or bu or using his boost for buffing for my range guys. But yeah, it'll get a nice little damage off on them. So. I would say almost having a, almost having Domingo up front is kind of easy mode, but I mean I had to find him. I had to I had to actually find Domingo. I'm trying to remember. I think wyverns have a secondary attack that they can use their fire or something like that, or some breath weapon or something, if I remember correctly. Um, 
But I mean, you have to find Domingo and everything like that, so it's not like I, you know, uh, you know, it's not like, um, uh, it's not like he's a part of the game or anything like that, so, I mean, yeah, I could, I guess, ignore using Domingo, but why not? Flying, walking, or flying, talking jellyfish to cast magic? I would not even dare to think otherwise. Okay, let's... They shot a... Oh! Crap, I forgot that their... I forgot that their items are... Or their attack is more like a magic spell than a straight-out damage. Whoops! Gonna have to heal some... Gonna have to heal some uh, Domingo. Oh! Uh, that might kill him. Yeah, I was about to say the... Because that's not considered a defense. It's considered a spell. So... That would actually go through his defense. So... Yeah... Okay, so maybe... Maybe I was a bit too cocksure, you know, there, so... Uh, but it's fine. Whoa! Yeah, this is what you get for... Oh, wow, the Ventar has a really good move range. Um, okay. What's your attack at? 33... Should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Um, yeah, but we'll, we've still got this. We're fine. We just lost a couple more dudes than we should have, but... Yeah, like I said, I was just being a bit, a bit cocky, but... Sorry, but sorry, Samurai dude. You you've joined the wrong game. Um, okay. Uh, what's your what's your defense at? Your defense is not super high, is it? Maybe it's not going to do a ton of damage either way. Hmm. Probably should move him back and get a heal off from someone. Um, you. What's your attack again? 42, but your defense sucks. That's the only problem with Kukichi is his defenses are not that great. 30. So do a decent amount of damage. It won't kill him, though. You... 32... 10 damage, or, or roughly. Uh, that won't kill him either. Two, so W10 damage, that won't kill me either. Man, I'm not getting a lot of kills on a lot of these guys. Um, let's just do you, I guess. Do it! Woo! Well, I blue finish him off for someone like that. Let's see. Yeah. Hello. Let's see. Uh, let's see. You've been hurt. Domingo got killed, I don't worry about that anymore. I probably want to have him be down here so Musashi uh, um, can get a solid uh, solid uh, in. Alright. And we'll have uh, my boy Blue finish off the Dilla Hand. Get that beautiful beam footage level. Or at least a piece of my experience. So. Alright, what do we got? Speed by four. Orb Spike Orb! Oh, nice. He's getting some major HP bumps. And his turns are coming a lot faster now. Uh, let me get... Uh, I, oops. No, let me get a quick on Arthur here, I think. He needs, uh, needs to get in a bit quick, quicker. And too bad I can't have my... Too bad my, my hero takes forever to get inside. Otherwise, it'd be... He'd be doing some major damage as well, because you know he's got like he's got the highest attack currently. All right. Oh, but you don't have the defense for it. Uh, you better not die, Max. Oh God. Please don't let laser or min or or wyvern or whatever wyvern to go after him, because that would suck. Oh God, man, what is? What's up with the uh, game, uh, like, throwing all the, uh, um, uh, getting all the random attacks activated, you know? They're, well, actually, Kokichi might die from a regular attack anyway, so, yeah. Because, yeah, Kokichi's defense sucks. Um, okay. You need to, I mean, Max can take care of the main guy for sure. Um, I might want to take out that guy just in case. Because I don't know if his turn's going to come next. I don't want him to laser or Max or something like that. So, Yeah, Max can easily take out the Minotaur, but... Hmm, attack, defense. Oh, nice defense boost. So, Yeah, we're going to start, because of our promotion, we're going to start getting some major, 
major uh, bumps in uh, stats here. So you need to help because we're running out of dudes. <laughs> oh well. Zylo, you need you need some levels to get your boost, to get your attack levels back up, please. All right, have you help with that? So you need to get those. You only get Gong in to get some experience there too, or attack there too. So, all right, gonna yeah, we're definitely gonna have any of the healers help you with that. So, yeah, Max can easily kill. Well, maybe not easily, but he can easily take do a ton of. Speed eight, holy crud! <laughs> yeah, he's gonna get those stats. Maybe not in the exact spot I want, but uh, still. Uh, okay. Actually, what is your attack? Actually, I'd probably rather have a. Uh, um, uh, what's the word? Hmm. I was about to say I'd rather have Gong come in and do that. So, so might as well heal the Arthur, or Arthur with that, and I'll have a uh, low heal uh, my main character with a pa more powerful heal. So I'll do the or ability. I think in the second game it be just it just becomes a higher level heal spell if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. It has been a day and a half since I played a. Uh, Shining Force uh, 2, which is one of my favorites. Yet. Oh, I haven't showed you how Gong attacks. Yeah, he just, instead of punching him, he summons, like, bolts of, like, something out of the ground. Hmm. I may have to do some, uh, uh, what's the word? I may have to do some, uh, find a good spot for level grinding just to get, like, everyone up to a decent spot because when you get promoted, their levels or their stats slightly drop, but they do get huge increases. Uh, and everyone's still at a, like a, um, everyone's still at a pretty, you know, everyone's at level one, so. And then any good attack will go oh, nice a little farther. Speed two, speed defense, magic points up. Hopefully uh, him being a, ah man. I was hoping Max could, uh, Max doesn't know, uh, doesn't know Bolt yet, or, or, or so he can't, uh, or at least I believe the hero of this game gets a, um, uh, gets a, uh, uh, ouch. Man, what is up with the wyverns getting all their, uh, or wyverns, or however you want to pronounce it. What is up with them getting all their attack, uh, uh, like, secondary attacks off? Ow. Dang you, magic eye laser thingies. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have them finish that guy off. Yeah, everyone's gonna get. I mean, if if they do a decent amount of experience, they should get their turns really quickly. Musashi, come on, man, get your turn. I might want to have uh, want to give that kill to uh, um, Gong. I think. I think that is that all the. Because trust me, guys, Zylo gets better. I just you know he's not. He's not he's not at the level that needs to be. He's still level you know, he's at his promoted to level one, you know. So. Ooh, nice, he got him in twice. Aha, uh -huh, nice. Nice! That's why you're my boy. Okay. Uh, who else said damage? You, but you ran off, so I can't really do much for you. Can we get Musashi to get anything? He's got the stats. It's just it's just this fight is not the best for him because of his uh, because of uh, how much range and movement he gets, you know. Oh, but yeah, I was gonna give Gong the kill. So I mean, if Musashi goes before that, cool. But... That is kind of cool. They just summons like a beam from the ground, even though it was kind of cool. He punched before him. But... Let's go and give a. Well, that's the last enemy, so might as well heal him up to full. Oh, or Arthur. Arthur, I forgot, took a lot of damage, too, so. Yeah, they get better. I mean, you know, I, I think I chose a pretty a pretty good team for this, but, uh... All right, Arthur, we'll give you the finish him off. Yeah. All right. Should be it. I think that was all the dudes. No, onto the tower of the ancients. Okay, there shouldn't be anything else here. I think it's just going to the tower, so no extra 
things on the map. But before we do that, we're going to go back to town and raise our dead. Bring out your dead! Bring out your dead! Anyway. Alright, let's go to the... Uh, let's see. Where was the... Oh, no, it was, it was back over here. I was thinking for a second, I was like, where was the church again? Actually, does... I wonder if that sign says anything else now that Musashi's joining the team. That's no, just the same thing. Okay. Yeah, if you don't... I mean, that indicates that he's already there by the time you've checked that, but the thing is, if you don't... Um, if you don't check that, he doesn't join your team. So it's like... You know, anyway. Alright, let's uh, raise him from the dead. Rise from the... Rise from your grave. Alright, come on up. It's not too expensive either, so... Uh, I'll try to be better. I, I'll admit. Yeah, Domingo dying kind of surprised me. He's died twice. One from a diesel, which is a jerk move. But, but yeah, this one was from, from forgetting that the torchlight's attacks count as spell-like damage instead of actual, like, physical damage. So, but, uh, uh, you know, like I said, this is what happens when you don't play games for years and years and then pop them in again and then everything kind of starts flooding back to you. So, is that it? No, that wasn't too bad. All right. Oh, right, we have that Doom Sword. Let's see what that does. Or, it probably curses, but I'm going to find out here in a second. Alright. Let's see. Doom Blade. Uh, yeah, I believe I believe Musashi can actually equip it, but, but if it actually... I think it's cursed. Oh, it's even weaker anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, who else can use Doom? Actually, we'll find out if it's cursed here in a second. Nope, it's just a sword weapon, but Musashi's blade is better, so... Huh. Well, that's uh, interesting to know that that's just a regular weapon. Alright, um... I mean, who could... It, I guess I could give it to one of the... I mean, I'm not gonna use the bird people anymore, but... Uh, I, actually, I... I can't really say that because I might swap them in just to show you what their attack patterns are like. Because that's true, I haven't, uh, um, I haven't shown you how they actually attack. Hmm. You know what? Uh, let's see. How much time? Well, we don't. Well, we have a time to like begin the fight, but we don't really have a whole lot of time to like go through it too much. So, let's see, the knights do. They all do the same thing. I've shown you the gladiators. Uh, wizards. I haven't shown what they actually... Well, all the knights basically look the same except for different color palettes, so I don't have to show them. Uh, Gort Luker, same thing. Different color palettes. I haven't shown the wizards. Although they're still wearing the outfits. But in combat, they'll look like... Actually, I haven't taken off their outfits yet to show them what they look like without their, uh... Um... Hold on, let me, uh... Let me, let me, let me remove the girl's clothing. It's not as dirty as it sounds. Anyway... I'll just swap it, like, i just give it to Henri, for example. Just, actually, just swap it around, because it doesn't work for same or the other, so you have to give it to, you know, Teo and stuff like that, so I can show you what their, uh... I never, I, I never did show you their avatars without that on, so... Punch, not supposed to be... Uh, where is... Teo? Oh, they're still... Hmm, I swapped their outfits, they shouldn't have, uh... Well, maybe I have to leave for it to reset. Hold on. Let me uh, leave for a sec. Because they shouldn't. They have. They. I've swapped their outfits. They shouldn't be. Uh... Let's see. Do that. Check them again. Ah, there we go. Uh, I mean, you can barely. It's hard to see, tell on the bed, but she's basically wearing this big old hood. And everything like that, you know, kind of got the hair covering the eye type of, uh, type of cute like that. Actually, Henri has that too. But yeah, she's wearing a big old hood and stuff like that. Max, the constant costume is really getting me, getting to me. Get me out of here. <laughs> okay, anyway, we'll swap those back. Um, yeah, I'll have to do, maybe at the beginning of the next episode or something like that, I'll have to, uh, basically show everyone get what their attack animations are like. Um, let's see, I've shown... So, okay. Yeah, all the... Yeah, I'll just show... If I was going to keep the two ladies, I think it was going to be Teo I would keep because of her Blaze 4 ability, so... 
Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, Diane and and, uh, and uh, Hans are. I think it was. I was gonna keep. Well, no, sorry, not Diane. I was actually out of the two. If I remember correctly, I would keep. If I didn't have Lyle for some reason, I would keep Hans uh, because of his defense. Uh, then we'll just swap out all. Actually, all the. I'm not gonna permanently do this. Like I'm just doing this just to show you their attack, what they look like in their attack animation. So let's. Uh, and Balbury, despite every, despite uh, Balbury or Amon being pretty close, Balbury was still one I would keep if I didn't have Kokichi, that type of thing. Um, and then, let's see, was that it? Let's see, one of each. Okay, yep. All right. Like I said, I'm not. I'm gonna swap them back later, but I just wanted to to uh, show like what their attacks look like and everything like that. And then I'll deal with uh, getting some minor little buffs, or sorry, a couple of just extra levels, maybe off screen to uh, um, just to kind of keep them up to par to like what's going on right now. Because the great thing about this game is you do get a lot of stat increases, but the enemies don't completely fall behind, you know, so you don't like, uh, you don't, um, um, you basically don't, uh, it doesn't become super easy, for example. But anyway, what lies beyond the uh, Tower of the Ancients? Will we find a Aleph and Torasu and help the king out with his, uh, with his people? Uh, who is the creature inside that's stopping, uh, stopping us from going ever further? And will we finally get on the Shining Path? Find out next time in the next episode of Shining Force, The Legacy of Great Intention. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.